so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem musical rods from course chef starter 67 so let's move on to the solution but before we move on to the solution i want to tell you guys about newton school coding contest so newton school organizes coding contest every month you guys can solve some quality problems and also compete against top coders in the world this will be a good opportunity to benchmark yourself where you guys are lying in respect to other students in India or around the world. And not only that, along with this, you can also win some cash prizes. You can win rewards up to rupees 90,000. You can also win scholarships up to rupees 20,000. And along with this, there will also be some job opportunities. So this month, the contest will be on 30th of November. It will be around two and a half hours from 9 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. So do not forget to sign up. Uh, the link will be in the description. So do go and sign up from there. So in the problem, we have been given n rods where this number n can be up to 10 to the power 5 and every rod has a length and it has a beauty. So we have been given two arrays. One is A. So we have A1, A2, A3, so on up to AN. This array gives you the length of the rods. And then we have second array B, B1, B2, B3, so on up to Bn. This second array gives you the beauty of the rods. So we want to place them on a horizontal plane such that all of them are touching each other. And we have to find the maximal beauty of the configuration. Or you can say find maximal beauty of the horizontal configuration. Now, how do we find the beauty of the configuration? So, beauty of the configuration is defined as beauty of config is equal to left endpoint of every rod into beauty of that rod. For example, if we take, let's say, three rods. Let's say we have three rods. Let's say I place A2 first, then I place A1, and then I place A3. Then left endpoint of rod A2 is at zero, right? So beauty of this rod will be zero into B2. Similarly for A1, left endpoint is at A2, right? Because length of rod is A2. So left endpoint of A1 is at A2. So we can say beauty of this will be A2 into B1. Similarly for A3, left end point is at now A1 plus A2. So we can say A3 will contribute A1 plus A2 into B3. So total beauty of this configuration will be how much? Total beauty will be 0 into B2 plus A2 into B1 plus A1 plus A2 into B3. Right, so that will be the total beauty of the configuration. And our task is to rearrange these rods, rearrange these rods such that this total beauty is as maximum as possible. So that is the entire task. So let's see how we can solve this now. So let's move on to the solution and the observations. So if you think about this, we have to find the maximum total beauty, right? And as I have talked in a lot of my videos, whenever we have to find the maximum of something, there are basically three approaches that we can use. The very first approach is greedy. The second approach is DP. And the third approach is binary search. I tried to find a DP solution for this but almost all the solutions were going o of n square and as our n as our n here is up to 10 to the power 5 we have to find o of n or o of n log n solution right so like all the dp solutions were going up to o of n square so our dp will not work here secondly let's go to binary search i tried to like also try or find a solution for binary search but I was not able to write a check function, right? Because if you are like uh, applying binary search, you have to write a check function or is possible function, right? 
to check if your answer is yes or no so i was not able to find a good implementation of a check or is possible function so that's why binary search is also not feasible here so the only thing that's left is a greedy solution so let's see if we can find a greedy solution for this so if we draw the configuration right something like this let's say length of this is l and let's say we want to place a rod with some beauty b here right so the greater the length is and the greater is the beauty it is more beneficial to us right because in this case our beauty will increase by l into b so we want both our l and b to be large so if you think about it logically it is optimal it is optimal to place low beauty value and large length value rods at the beginning right because we want to increase our length as fast as possible right so if my rod has large length it is optimal to place it at the beginning similarly i don't want to waste my large beauty values right because large beauty values will help me in the end so in the starting i want to place rods that have large length value and that have low beauty value so if you want to rephrase this entire statement into a mathematical formula if we write the same thing mathematically you can say that if i find the ratio of ai comma bi you can say that ratio of ai comma bi should be greater than ratio of ai plus 1 comma bi plus 1 right so that is the mathematical like uh, formula for this right so you, the solution is just sort the rods on basis of decreasing ai over bi ratio right that will be the solution so how can i prove that so to prove this uh, let's assume let's assume we have some rods of length l up to this point let's say i place some rod ai here ai bi and some rod ai plus 1 comma bi plus 1 and let's assume that ai over bi is less than ai plus 1 over bi plus 1 right for the time being let's say you are placing the smaller ratio in the beginning let's call this beauty 1 right so if you find beauty 1 it will be l uh sorry l into bi right because length up to this point is l so it will be l into bi plus l plus ai into bi plus 1 right so like if you open up this term you will get l into bi plus l into bi plus 1 plus ai into bi plus 1 right so this is l into bi plus bi plus 1 plus ai into bi plus 1 right so now let's swap these rods let's swap these so the new configuration will be something like this we will get l we have ai plus 1 bi plus 1 and we have ai bi right if we find the beauty of this configuration we get b2 is equal to l into bi plus 1 plus l plus ai plus 1 into bi so my b2 is equal to l into bi plus 1 plus l into bi plus ai plus 1 plus bi so my b2 is just l into bi plus bi plus 1 plus ai plus 1 into bi right so this is my term b1 and this is my term b2 right so if you think uh, if i like write them like next to each other we get b1 is equal to l time bi plus bi plus 1 plus ai into bi plus 1 and my term b2 is l into bi plus bi plus 
plus a i plus one and b i and we assume that my a i over b i is less than a i plus one over b i plus one right so in b one and b two these terms are similar right this term is similar so we can ignore this but we know that a i over uh, a i over b i is less than a i plus one over b i plus one so like if we just cross multiply these things we get a i over b i plus one is less than a i plus one over b i right and as you can see in my b1 i have this term right my this term is in b1 and this term is in b2 right and as a i into b i plus 1 is less than a i plus 1 into b i you can say that your b1 is less than b2 right so like when you place the smaller ratio in the beginning that is the first configuration b1 you get smaller beauty value right your beauty value in the first configuration was smaller this was when you placed rod i before i plus 1 and this was when you placed i plus 1 before i right so as you can see it is always optimal to place the rod with higher a i over b i ratio before lower ratios right higher AI over BI ratio should be placed before lower ratios. And as you were able to see, the beauty will always be larger in this case, right? So that is the entire solution. I will just summarize it once again, if you guys want to, right? Summary, sort the array in decreasing values. of a i over b i ratio right and then just find the answer right that is the entire solution so if you guys want to see the code for this here is the code as well so i will like uh, declare a vector of pairs because it is easier to like sort uh, like when your two values have a relation and you want to sort on basis of a ratio it is like uh, good to declare a vector of pairs or you can say you can create a structure as well and cre create a vector of structures but in this case i am declaring a vector of pairs because it will be easier for me to sort and relate values in this case right so uh, i will uh, declare a vector of pairs then i will take rod of i dot first that is i will take take in all the lengths of the rods then i will take in all the beauties that is rod of i dot second then i will sort uh, these rods on the basis of a i over b i ratio right so if you see here i will sort rod dot begin rod dot end then i will pass a lambda function so you guys can read about lambda functions online so this is how i sort things right so when you have to write a custom comparator you will use lambda functions right so I wrote a lambda function here, which is basically doing, doing the same thing, right? So here I'm just checking if my AI over BI is greater than, sorry, my AI over, you can say A dot first over A dot second should be greater than B dot first over B dot second, right? That means beauty of uh, sorry length of first rod over beauty of first rod should be greater than length of second rod over beauty of second rod and if you just rearrange these terms you get a dot first into b dot second should be greater than a dot second into b dot first right and that is what you see here so after I sort the array, I can just go over the values and just find the beauty, right? Beauty is just length so far into the beauty of this rod. So that is the entire solution. And if you guys have some doubts, feel free to ask in the comments or join my Discord server. I'll be more than happy to answer your doubts there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.